The Battle of Noia, in 113 BC, was the opening battle of the Cimbrian, war fought between the Roman Republic and the migrating Proto-Germanic tribes, the Cimbri and the Teutons. It ended in defeat, and near disaster, for the Romans. Chapter 1, Prelude The Cimbri and Teutonese left their homelands around the Baltic Sea in the Jutland Peninsula and southern Scandinavia. They travelled southeast and encountered the Scordisi, with whom they fought. Following their victory over the latter, they arrived at the Danube in Noricum, which was home to the Taurisi, who were allied with Rome. Unable to repel these new invaders, the Taurisi appealed to Rome for assistance. The consul Gnaeus Papirius Carbo responded the following year, leading the legions into Noricum, where he took up a position on the heights near Aquilia. Chapter 2 Battle Carbo ordered them to vacate the territory of the Taurisi at once. The Cimbri had heard many stories from other tribes about the fearsome power of Rome, and after seeing the size of the Roman army, and the strength of its position, they complied. However, Carbo was not going to allow enemies of Rome, nor an opportunity to gain a triumph, to escape. The guides he sent to escort the Cimbri and Tunis to the frontier were instructed to lead them into an ambush the consul had prepared. But somehow, perhaps due to being warned by their scouts or spies or possibly due to the treachery of one of the guides, the Cimbri became aware of Carbo's plan and, according to Theodore Mommsen, an engagement took place not far from Noia in the modern Corinthia, in which the betrayed gained the victory over the betrayer and inflicted on him considerable loss, a storm, which separated the combatants, alone prevented the complete annihilation of the Roman army. Chapter 3 Aftermath Carbo managed to escape with his life and the remnants of his army. He was later prosecuted for his failure by Marcus Antonius, rather than accepting exile, Carbo committed suicide. Rome prepared for the worst, but instead of invading Italy, the Cimbri and Teutones headed west, towards Gaul. There, in 105 BC, at the Battle of Aosio, the Cimbri and Teutones would again defeat a Roman army.